And welcome back I hope you're having a wonderful day so I've got two gel polish uh, sets here to review today uh, one is from born pretty and they sent this to me for PR so thank you born pretty for sending me this I'm really looking forward to looking into it so first of all I really like the uh, the packaging I found it very cool like there's like this like, sh um, shine across the lines of the color Plus, like, the detailing on the box. I just, I don't know, I like packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. So, yeah, I really like the box. Simple things, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, here are some instructions along with step-by-steps on how to apply, remove, uh, prep, and so on and so forth. So, there are six gels in this uh, little set, and they are 10 milliliters each. Um, I didn't mention this in my last video with the, the reflective glitter gel polish that I got from Bone Pretty but the bottles are really nice and sturdy they, they're they not like heavy heavy but they're heavy uh, you know so that you know that they're not like they're not plastic and cheap felt do you know what I mean so yeah um, all of them did have colour color names but I completely spaced and forgot to show them but I am going to show you every single colour here I'm going to swatch them and there are some beautiful colours in this um, little gel set there's a couple of light shades and a couple of more like darker shades so this is uh, I'd say this is a set that you can use any time of the year um, like autumn and spring you know and well I done a, an abstract uh, art sort of set uh so yeah uh so no, these are the swatches here before they are no i think this is after they're cured and they've been top coated sorry <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm 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 totally spacing here so the next one is cads or k-a-d-s i don't i don't know if it's cads or if they're spelling it like per letter but these are six gel polishes, um, they are 9.5 milliliters each. They are, again, the bottles are nice and heavy and sturdy, they're not plastic, they're nice, like, decent bottles. So these ones, I was totally in love with. These are, uh, what, 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 they're called, I think people call them cheese candy gel polish, but they're like candy, basically, essentially, I should say, what they, what they are, it's just, gel polish with a matte glitter inside of the gel polish and they give us this real like um candy like effect i don't know they, they do look like candies i guess um so anyway i'm just watching these they again um the born pretty were one coat coverage there, there was no need for any more than one coat and then these were also one coat coverage but of course you can build them up if you wish to so there's a blue a yellow a like a i don't know what you'd call this i think this is like a grayish sort of purple blue kind of color then you've got an actual purple and then you have a pink so yeah some really nice colors i ended up using the blue yellow and pink from this kit so i do do both hands and i do two completely different sets so i did do some matte and shiny top coats on those cheese candy gels because i wanted to show you that you could use them in both sort of aspects if that makes sense so anyway we're going to use all of the born pretty colors to do the abstract art uh, press on set and then the others we are going to do the um uh, the the three that i mentioned the blue the yellow and the pink so these born pretty gels cure really great for 30 seconds so basically what i essentially done was i just um gosh my brain i i literally haven't long well i woke up about an hour and a half ago so i'm still like morning mode <laughs> i've done the school runs so if i'm like sounding a bit weird and like slow that's why <laughs> so anyway, what i done was i painted all of the nails in that like nude sort of color that come in the kit and now i'm just going in with a, a gel brush you can use any gel brush i it doesn't matter i just grabbed this one um and i'm just putting into the gel then i'm wiping a little bit of it off and I'm just going between colours. Then before doing these lines, I cured in my nail lamp for 30 seconds. Then I go in, I do the lines and I do some dots. 
uh, and then I cure again for, th uh, for 30 seconds before doing a top coat and then curing for a full 60 seconds. So this set was really easy to do and it was really fun and it looks really like um, <clears throat> detailed but it was super easy and uh, you can do this with any different colours uh, but I really liked this set, how it turned out. I was really happy with the outcome. Um, so yeah. So again, I'm just doing the same thing but I'm alternating between colours. I do... Uh, the three like swipes with the gel brush, cure, then I do the lines and the dots, and then I cure, and then I top coat. So there's a lot of in and out of the lamp, but you know. So you can make these as press-ons, or you can do the uh, jelly tip method, where you secure them to your nails with uh, builder gel, you can put glue, you can use those little glue tabs you can use poly gel you know so there's a lot of ways that you can secure these and you can secure them before doing the design as well just so you know it's just i wanted to make some press arms i'm really happy with how they turn out they are very very pretty and uh, we'll be putting them on after i have done my second hand so like i said i'm going to start trying to do two hands in each video and do two completely different designs uh, so now what i'm doing is i wanted to try i know a lot of people have done this already it's not a new set I wanted to try doing the where you paint with gel onto your tips and then you uh, encapsulate with poly gel that's what I originally wanted to do so well that's what I did do so that's what I've done <laughs> so of course before you do any sort of nail extension or put any nail products on your nails it is highly suggested that you do prep your nails properly I will leave a video in the cards of that uh, but now what we are doing is we're just painting on some base coat uh, onto the tips after I've glued them on. You can use nail glue or you, of course, can use uh, base coat, builder gel, whatever, to secure your nail tips on. It's completely up to you. Um, so that's what I've done. I just used some nail glue and then I painted over with base coat, cured for 60 seconds. And now I'm going in with uh, that yellow. I absolutely love that yellow. By the way, a fly flew into my nail. I did get him off, <laughs> of course. I didn't just cure him onto my nail. Um, but yeah, he, he was stuck. I had to scoop him off and get him out of the... Because he couldn't get off the actual gel. Um, I live by loads of fields and like farming areas. I'm not joking. Like Across the road from me, uh, behind a big six-foot fence, is a field of horses. Then to my right is a field full of cows and then completely behind me is a field full of sheep so in these summer months because i'm surrounded by fields we do get a lot of flies that fly into the house it is extremely annoying but there's nothing you can do flies are flies aren't they <laughs> i mean they're just flies so yeah anyway what i'm doing going back to the nails now i am just painting uh i painted the thumb tip completely yellow I went all the way down to my nail bed now what I'm doing is I'm going to ombre the pink and the yellow together so I put some yellow onto my nail then I went in with some pink before getting my ombre brush and just uh swiping back and forth and pulling the gels into each other these gels were really nice to um what's the word to ombre together I, I just said that word why did I forget it they were really easy to ombre together so yeah I was really happy with that and in between each nail I am a course curing I'm only curing for about 10-15 seconds so just to hold the gel polish in place and then when I'm finished doing all of my nails uh with all the gel polish I then cure for a full 60 seconds to make sure everything is in place and everything is fully cured now I am doing I done a full pink nail and I'm going in with pink and blue and I'm doing an ombre again and then I take my brush and I swipe left to right and I just yeah um as you can see, I pull it down a little bit because these gels are, I can't explain, glitter gels, no matter what it is, if there's, gel, if there's glitter in the gel, they are so easy to uh, ombre, it's great. <laughs> and then the pinky I done in that lush blue colour. So once that was done and they were all cured, I'm now going to go in with a nail bed colour and I am going to make an ombre nail bed down. Um, I'm using 331 from the Macart Polygel Nude Kit. 
uh, of course you can use whatever nude best suits your skin tone uh, but yes yeah, the one that I used for this one today so as you can see I'm just patting and pulling the gel uh, not the gel the poly gel into place making sure it is crisp around the uh, cuticle area before going up then and pulling the poly gel up my nail I would suggest uh, if, if like uh, you know when like you trial and error things I would suggest putting a layer of base coat down on top of this gel polish because I did notice that it moved the poly gel moved a little bit like it wasn't sticking if that makes sense like it was sticking but like because there was no sticky extra sticky layer from base coat the, the like because it's gel polish. I know this gel polish does have a sticky layer, but it's not as sticky sometimes as base coat. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, because that sticky layer wasn't there um, on a couple of the nails, uh, the poly gel was just moving and it was driving me insane. Uh, it was just like it wasn't fanning down like what it usually would. So I made sure that the apex was uh, in the center. Ignore my ratty skin there. I, I can't stop picking at like my dried skin and then I end up making it worse and I got to stop doing it. It's such a bad habit. Um so I am aware that I have dried skin. Um yeah. Just some things you just can't you just can't help, you know? But it is what it is. <laughs> so anyway, I do an ombre. As you can see, here's what I was saying. With the gel with the poly gel was like not sticking to the gel polish, uh, but after a bit of work, it did work, and uh, yeah, I was happy with the outcome. So I just patted and pulled it into place, and uh, with the ombre onto the nail, as you know, I pull it all the way down, and then I push it back on itself to fin it. Uh, you, of course, you can do any way that you feel comfortable with. If you found your own sort of um, rhythm, then by all means do that. Uh, once I was happy, I then cured, and I do this for every single nail, um, so yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. It just takes practice and it's all trial and error. Um, I do like this idea because like it's so much quicker to paint the tips with some gel polish and then do the nail bed area with some poly gel or acrylic. You could do it with acrylic as well, I guess. Or builder gel. And then like you go in and then encapsulate the whole nail with some clay. I find that much faster and easier. And it just, the set turned out really, really cute. I was really happy with how these turned out. Um, yeah, I and I know a lot of people have done it. I, I can't think off the top of my head of how many people have done it. I know a lot of people have done it. Um, so now what I'm doing... I go in with some McCart Clear Poly Gel to encapsulate my thumb. And then I thought, nah, do you know what's easier? Builder Gel. So I did encapsulate the thumb with Poly Gel, which you can absolutely do if that's all you have. By all means, use your Clear Poly Gel to encapsulate. But I do have some Builder Gel here. And I was like, Builder Gel is so much faster, in my opinion, to encapsulate with. So I did go in on all of the other nails with some Builder Gel. And I just put down a slip layer. You'll see me do it. I do, I do show you. I put down a thin slip layer. And before curing then, I will go in with a larger bead. And I float it down the centre uh, from the apex down the centre of the nail and then I flip my hand over, let it settle on its own because that's the great thing about Builder Gel, it self levels with gravity because gravity, you know, it abides by gravity's rules. Here it is, it's the Venalisa uh, Clear Builder Gel. It's uh, 313 and this is the big tub. It's like, um, I think it's like 125 grams, I can't quite remember. Uh, but as you can see here, I'm just putting down a slip layer I actually put too much down for that slip layer, but uh, it's, that's why my brush is still like full. So yeah, once I was done with that, I then went in with a bigger bead and I floated it down the center, as you can see, and then it starts to self-level. I just flip my hand over and then I drag my brush um, up and down the sides just to make sure that it is uh, all encapsulated, all neat and tidy. Then I cure for three seconds before moving on to the next nail. And I've done this for every single nail. Um, definitely I'd highly recommend if you uh if you like encapsulating nails there's nothing wrong with using poly gel poly gel is great and I do love uh, McCart's poly gel it's completely clear crystal clear but uh if you're like encapsulating like the tips of like uh and stuff like 
I know that some people struggle with Builder Gel because it's more runnier. It's a more of a runny consistency. And is it viscosity or whatever it's called? I know that some people do prefer to use Poly Gel because it doesn't move. But if you're encapsulating your tips, by all means, use some Builder Gel um, because you'll start to get used to it. And it's it, Builder Gel is crystal clear. And I absolutely love that it was just so easy to quickly... Like, look how fast I'm encapsulating okay this is sped up by the way but like it's it's so quick it's so easy uh, so yeah i enjoyed uh, doing this so once i was done i done a full 60 second cure in um at the end but of course i did uh flash cure each finger into place just to make sure that it was all like in place then i went in with some uh rubbing alcohol i cleaned off the sticky tacky layer and then I go in with my hand file. One of my nails pop off because, of course, I am wearing a base coat. A uh, peel-off base coat, I should say. But I just uh, stick it back on with some nail glue when it's, it's good to go. Uh, but, yeah, I just I do a bit of hand filing. I, I didn't get much filing in. I forgot to press record when I used my e-file. Um, <clears throat> honest mistake. Could happen to anyone. Uh, so not much of the filing is actually left in. But I do leave everything else in. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, I filed, shaped and buff. Sorry, I said buffed, but I sneezed. <laughs> so that's why I got cut off. But yeah, I file, I shaped and I buffed. Then I went in with some top coat and I cured before going in then with some Macart rhinestone glue. And the, oh gosh, what, you know the, um... Oh yeah, I used the Bee Glam top coat because it was the closest one to me. I do like Bee Glam's top coat, to be fair. Uh, so the stars, the jelly, like sugar, sugar candy, jelly, sweet stars that come in the McCart uh, Sweet Cravings kit. I used uh, three of those stars on each nail. I used the McCart Rhinestone Glue. It's non-wipe, so you don't have to worry about the sticky tacky layer. Uh, I used them to, I used that to secure my... Ra the charms my jelly sweets whatever you want to call them down onto each nail i done uh what's it called three nails i done the yellow nail that's basically the ones without the ombre on i done those nails <laughs> so it was the yellow the pink and the blue i just stuck one star on each nail i thought it looked really cute it added a bit of uh you know um and then once i was done i stuck on the press-ons i put some cuticle oil on and then i show you some reveals so uh the reveals we were losing daylight <laughs> it'd been sunny all day and i finally got these nails finished and the sun was starting to go down and it was behind the houses and i was like oops <laughs> so we still do have a bit you have like outdoor lighting of these nails it's just they're not uh in the sunlight but you can still see them perfectly fine uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to let you watch the rest. You can enjoy the reveals and all that good stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I hope you are staying safe. I hope that you keep on smiling. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in my next video, guys. Bye. Feeling like I need a purpose